We're the buyer, but it's really about bringing talent together. And uh, Jim and I have talked for the last couple of years. We're good friends. We have a lot of thoughts in common. Our main focus is attracting and retaining really talented people who are team players and broad thinkers. And Jim and his team could not fit that description. This, this is know, not a bet that we're about to go over the cliff, though, because he does a lot of restructuring work. It's a hedge. It's a hedge. <laughs> no, that's exactly right. By the way, you know, I always say don't confuse a bull market with brains. We're in, you know, our M&A business and our sales and trading businesses are doing great. It's a bull market. So in the portfolio, having more restructuring, and by the way, not just corporate restructuring, which we already have and I think will be quite powerful in, but Jim and his partners like Mark Walker have been working on sovereigns and municipals. And if you look at the cliff that's coming there, um, being positioned to be a leading firm to deal with sovereign and municipals whenever a downturn comes is just great balance to a portfolio of businesses. Yeah, you can see there's you know five trillion dollars of outstanding dollar denominated debt that foreign sovereigns and foreign state-owned enterprises <clears throat> have incurred. And uh, you know with the interest rate, with the currency volatility we've seen in the last you know six months, with the dollar being strong and against these other emerging market currencies. Be a lot of opportunity there, and you guys have talked about, uh, you know, an issue that Congress is continuing to ignore, but we need to address eventually, which is the pension funding crisis. This is a big issue at the state and local level. It's crowding out spending on things like infrastructure right. and education, and so, you know, there's fiscal adjustment. But you're always a good barometer right? of of where we are <clears throat> in the cycle. So where where do you think we, we stand right now? Well, you're at the, We're just talking, by the way, about the market's being propped up effectively by about four stocks. Right, exactly. I mean, if you back out the fangs, you know, the S&P is pretty flat for the year. Yeah, but so, that's not entirely true if you look at small caps. So right. we've got to be a little careful. All the focus is on the S&P 500. Small caps are catching up here and outperforming. So you've got the fangs dominating large caps where there's a lot going on, but you've got small caps, you know, out outperforming everybody. But if you're looking at a lot of investors who are based in index funds, most of them track the right. S&P 500. No, I understand, but you be... just have to see the market right. shift. So, really so how strong or weak, how strong or weak are things really? Well, <clears throat> look, you've got extraordinary stimulus coming from the federal government, right? The tax cut, the spending bill, uh, at the end of, you know, an eight-year recovery where the Fed has provided uh, extraordinary monetary uh, support to the economy. The Fed's going the other direction now, or is trying, right, to reduce its balance sheet and raise rates. Um, the tariffs are, uh, in effect, a tax increase. It's so far just starting, but, you know, these things are hard to stop once they start. And how the administration finds a face-saving way out of a full-scale tit-for-tat uh, tariff war, you know, if you look at what they're talking about, ultimately that's seven percent of GDP that they're going to raise taxes on. I, I, I want to ask both of you this, but but Jim, I'm going to start with you just because I think you've said recently that that we could be two years away from another big financial crisis hitting, um, and and, and Not people a, should. Well, I haven't said a big financial crisis. What a, I've said is a big downturn. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, and, a turning of the credit cycle, right. uh, and you know, with the. Uh, I mean, just as a matter of, you know, pure finance, right, if, if the base rate goes up, the discount rate goes up that we all use in our valuations, the stocks have got to come down. So hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.